these are the two invasive uh, crab species that I'm working on right now. Uh, they're on the on your right is the European green crab. This is Carcinus manus. It was introduced to the United States East Coast uh, sometime in the early 1800s. And on your left is Hemigrapsus sanguinius. Uh, this was found in the late 80s in uh, coastal New Jersey and has since um, displaced the green crab from the intertidal zone um, along the northeast coast of the United States. Um, as of this point, Hemigrapsis is up to about Maine, down to North Carolina, and Carcinus um, did have about the same range but is continuing to invade up to uh, northern Canada. And Carcinus has also been invading in Australia and in the west coast of the United States. It's a particular concern due to crab fishery. And um, so what we wanted to do was take a look at the interaction between these two um, and see what kinds of things we can do to mitigate their, their spread and further understand what their physiology and what their ecology um, as a result of that physiology is. Um, the interesting part is that even though Carcinus gets to be larger, Hemigrapsus sanguinis is be able to exclude it from the intertidal zone. So the real question becomes, are they better suited to desiccation than Carcinus, or are they just more aggressive? That's what we're, we're working on right now. Um, I'm working on physiology of both the olfactory apparatus and overall behavior and salinity tolerance in these. And hopefully we'll be able to wrap this all together, make a, uh, a bio geographic model and see what we